Hi there, everyone. Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It is currently the 25th of July, 2012, and happy Wednesday out here for everybody out here across the Western Pacific. But let's talk about uh, our ex-Typhoon Vicente. And you see here in the last several frames, it's moving off there towards the west across uh, southern China. Now, what the threat, what this is going to be today is heavy rainfall. It's still pulling moisture out of the South China Sea here. Could be dumping up much rains across much of southern China, the Guangdong and Guangxi province, and even in over towards including Hong Kong, where you did see uh, about 260 millimeters over a 24-hour period after the storm moved on shore. And if we take a look at China's radar, you can see that those heavy rains continue to push on shore. I do expect this to continue to occur not only through Wednesday, but then even into Thursday as that moisture continues to stream out here from the south, but not just here across southern China, even including Hainan, you could be seeing it too, but some portions of Taiwan, it does look like for the most part you're remaining cloud-free today, but you might see some storms develop. And also, uh, just off the screen here, over towards Vietnam, uh, as well, you're going to be seeing that threat of flash flooding and also landslides once you get into the mountainous areas there. So, uh, definitely still an ongoing story here across southern China associated with Vicente. But as far as the storm itself, it has been uh, declared over by all the agencies as we continue to watch it walk off here towards the west. But still a very good cyclonic circulation going around it, as you can see right here on this visible slash infrared imagery. That's what I'm talking about here across Vietnam, even over towards Cambodia. You're going to be seeing that threat of moisture. And also, let's look farther towards the west because enhancing the southwest monsoon indirectly, but somewhat directly related to it, is across Thailand and Malaysia. You're going to be seeing some thunderstorms blow up here and uh, possibly could create that threat of flash flooding. The alcohol boards of 150 to 200 millimeters within an hour duration, but also some of these thunderstorms produce those gusty winds. So uh, superficial damage is also going to be at risk here across Thailand and then extending out towards the South China Sea where waves are also going to be kicking up across much of this area. But look over towards the Philippines because also uh, looks like some heavy rainfall continuing to blow up there. Some thunderstorm activity across Manila could be very well possible uh, later on in your afternoon today. But let's take this same picture and look a little bit farther towards the east at this little spinning motion here just towards the east of Mindanao. Uh, this area right here is being dubbed Invest 93W at this time and at this time. And over the past several days, many models want to grab this area and at least... Uh, currently, there is a good circulation going around this. The winds, on the other hand, are not too intense. So upwards of about uh, 10, 15 knots around the general circulation here. But there are some pockets of higher winds across the north. Seeing upwards about 20 to 35 knots and another pocket down here towards the south. But the big thing you want to take from this is that clear center of circulation. One of the stipulations for a tropical depression is just a counterclockwise cyclonic rotation within the tropics. It does look like just towards the west of Palau. You have exactly that here indicated on the ASCAT imagery. So let's take a look at some of the models and see where this is going to be going because a few of them are really going to be trying to develop this into a very large system. And first, this is actually the no gaps outlook, and you can see here that area spinning up just towards the west of Palau, right down here towards the south. And then let's go through the next several days into the weekend where a clear cyclonic circulation starts to develop. I do want to stress that we've been talking about the latter part of the model run. Well, now this is starting to get into the mid part of the model run, showing the initiation of this storm. And then look off towards the end because on the 31st, this is basically on Sunday into Monday. Then in the Tuesday, uh, right around Okinawa, and the southern Japanese islands, you could be getting hit by a very strong and powerful typhoon. But I want to strongly stress, though, this is about a week out. So basically, at this time, even though the storm is still initializing, I think everybody from about this area off here towards the north should still watch this. I know that's a very large cone of air, but uh, is still initializing in the dynamics. Uh, steering this could very well change. But at this time, though, does look like this model and let's take a look at GFS because this particular model uh, also looks like it wants to develop this storm into a significant system and this is another reason why I want to show you this map right in here 
because it does show some of these sea surface temperatures exceptionally warm up towards of about 30 to 31 degrees. This is going to also enhance and give this storm a lot of fuel to further develop. And on that note, let's walk around the rest of Eastern Asia and the Western Pacific here because across Japan, afternoon thunderstorms will be continuing to pop up here due to daytime heating. Also, a little bit of instability aloft will also enhance that, so don't be surprised if you hear a rumble thunder too. And then over towards Beijing, see this low rain in here? Well, Unfortunately, after your devastating floods on your Saturday, it does look like yet uh, more rainfall could be occurring across your area. Very unwelcome, to say the least. But that is all for rain. Everybody, thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as always, you can please post them into the comment box below. Also, reminding you, you can always follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta. Or you can follow the website at the uh, same at Western Pacific Weather on Facebook and Twitter as well. So uh, please stay safe out there, though, and have a great day.